My name's Lynn Cox. I'm in a Churchill Fellow 2013. I travelled to Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Tokyo, Osaka and India. My project was diving into darkness and I'm looking at artistic and coaching training opportunities in complete darkness and how we can empower people by using darkness as a CPD tool. I originally heard, heard about the Churchill Fellowship about 20-25 years ago. Yeah, a quite a long time ago. And I heard about it through an organisation called Art House. And they're a small arts organisation for disabled and non-disabled artists. And it was one of the things they put in every year saying there was a Churchill Fellowship. And at the time I didn't have a travel project or a project that needed to go abroad. And I, I suppose I reserved it in my memory until I needed it. I applied for the fellowship because I understood that different places in the world, especially Southeast Asia, were using darkness as a, an exhibition and, and an empowerment tool and I wanted to see how that could be incorporated and techniques from different countries be brought back to the UK. It was a really quick application to fill in and it was an easy application to fill in but I did spend quite a while thinking about the questions and looking at the, at the questions in the first place. And then I got shortlisted. That application part for me, the shortlisting part of the application, was actually really useful because it made me really tighten what I was going to do, how I was going to do it, what I wanted to get from it, the, you know, the complete aims, because although I was looking at the CPD and the exhibition opportunities, I wanted to have a bit of a light-hearted view as well because there was going to be a book and I didn't want the book to be too heavy. By the time I got to the interview stage, I was nervous because of the interview stage and who was interviewing me and coming to this wonderful building in central London. It felt slightly, oh, little me being there. But actually, once I turned up, I'd done all the preliminary work. I knew exactly what the project was going to be about. And I just told it as it was, and luckily the judges decided that it was worth funding. Well, I did the research in 2013 in August and October. So I still feel as if I'm at the gather stage. I've gathered a lot of the research, I've done some coaching in the dark, a lesson plan using artistic materials. So combining all my skills, all of what I've learned abroad, I'm combining my information and putting that together to publish a book. I'm writing articles about the darkness, I've been on several radio broadcasts and hoping to get on a few more, uh, especially now I've got more events happening in the UK rather than just the research. So it's all going to be flying from June this year really. I think the one thing with the Winston Churchill, I would recommend it for people. The, the one most important thing is, is the dissemination, which is the bit I think I'm only just doing. But if you've got a good project, you know how you're going to get it out to people. You, you're using different techniques. Sometimes there's elements that you can only find from abroad because you're pulling together ideas. And however good the internet is, you can only get basic information. Sometimes you need to meet the people, discuss the projects, work out how they're going to work. And I'd really, really encourage anybody to apply for the Winston Churchill you know, especially disabled people because everybody at the, the Fellowship Trust has been so brilliant to make things accessible for me, to change the little bits they've needed to change. So yeah, go for it. Anybody can apply for the Churchill Fellowship if they're born in the UK over 18. Any social background, disability background, ethnic background, whatever. Diversity, I think is the key to the Churchill Fellowship. Like Churchill himself, who I think was a really eclectic, wonderful character, his memorial trust is exactly the same.